Science with Miss McMillenstein. Today we are looking at solutions as special mixtures. A solution is a mixture in which we cannot identify the different substances. It looks like the solid disappears into the liquid. A solution is a mixture in which we cannot identify the different substances. It looks the same throughout the mixture and has a distribution of substance particles between the other substance particles. In activity 11, on page 6 in your workbook, we are looking at soluble and insoluble substances. I do not have the correct scientific equipment, so I'm going to use about half of the amounts that they speak of. I'm going to use 50 milliliters of water for each experiment instead of 100, and half a teaspoon of each of the items that they spoke about. I've already measured certain ones out. I have table salt, sugar, bits of charcoal, and oil. I do not have sulfur and saltpeter at home, so we won't be using those. The other salts I will tell you about in just a minute. So if we look at our table salt, half a teaspoon of table salt, and 50 milliliters of water, a little bit too much for my glass, and I'm stirring with the plastic spoon, I do not have a glass rod. And so I'm going to stir this up until I can't feel the little bits of particles of salt at the bottom of the glass. All right, we'll come back to this in just a minute. I'm going to continue stirring and then I'm going to let it settle as the instructions say in our book. The next solution we want to test is the charcoal particles. So I've got some little bits of charcoal and I'm going to add our water as instructed and mix it and you can already see the charcoal is just floating around on the surface. What is your hypothesis? Do you believe that if I keep stirring the charcoal particles will dissolve into the water? What do you think? I'm going to stir it for a little bit longer and then let it settle and see what happens. The next solution we'd like to look at is oil and water. I'm pretty sure you know what's going to happen with oil and water. We have tried to mix these two before. So I'll mix them. And then I'm going to let it stand and we will see what happens. Let's have a look at the results. Table salt sugar, Epsom salts, bicarbonate of soda, oil, sand, charcoal. These are the soluble substances, the ones that dissolved. These are the insoluble substances, the ones that did not dissolve. Soluble means a substance that can dissolve and insoluble a substance that cannot dissolve. Salt dissolves in water. It is soluble. Water is the solvent in which the salt dissolves. The salt that dissolves is called the solute. The dissolved salt and water mixture is called a solution. Solvent plus solute equals solution. Here are some examples of everyday life solutions. Some are good and helpful for us and sometimes things are not so good. Try this activity at home. Smear some mud, syrup and oil on a cloth and see if plain water can wash it off. If it does, why? If it doesn't, tell me why. Enjoy the rest of your day.